since last Wednesday, just trying to do all the things that, that you have to do to try to get ready to play a ball game. And, um, you know, clearly we didn't put our best foot forward. You got to give Louisiana Tech a lot of credit. Uh, I thought they uh, were ready to play. You could see that they were a, a team that's been to bowl games, had a formula for getting their guys ready to play. Um, I thought they played, you know, I told the guys before, the team that won the game is going to be the team that played the hardest. And clearly they played harder than we did, played tougher than we did. And their coaches did a better job getting them ready than, than I did. And so, um, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. And, you know, we got to get a lot better. It's a good learning experience for us. Um, uh, but again, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I want to compliment the senior class for, for, for the way they played and, and the way they handled a tough transition. Uh, ben, uh, when things started going wrong in the first quarter, were there any adjustments that you guys tried to make? Can you put a finger on what bothered the offense today? Uh, I mean, no. When, once we got, once things started spiraling out of control on us, we just tried to, we just kept telling each other to, you know, stack up good plays on top of another. And um, I mean, that's what we tried to do, and it didn't, it didn't really work out too great for us. But that's what we were just trying to go out there and win plays. Um, you know, they they bring a lot of pressure. Brought a lot of pressure, um, and they were able to. I mean, we gashed them here and there on a run, but they were able to stop the run. They just they just played really well, and then like Coach said, they were um, probably more prepared than we were. So, do you guys do you feel like the energy of the bowl game maybe caught you guys by surprise? No, I don't think it was that. I think we played in some we played in big games. Um, I don't. I just I just think we you can't win the game having six turnovers, and we had two pick sixes in the first first quarter I mean that's just that's a recipe for disaster and you know once it got so out of control we just we it just was hard for us to ever get back into it so I mean I don't, I don't think it was the energy or the atmosphere or anything like that we, we played in big games and um, you know thought we were ready but obviously we weren't so obviously the quick turnaround with new coaches on the offensive side how prepared did you feel coming in obviously it was a difficult situation yeah no I felt prepared I mean, we, we, we ran a lot of our base stuff um, that we thought would work against them. Um, and it probably did work against them. We just, like I said, when you have six turnovers, two pick sixes, the game was, the game was just, it just kept spiraling out of control on us. And it was just hard to ever really get back into it. We never really had momentum ever. I mean, we had one good drive and that was the drive right before halftime. And, you know, the, everything else was, was very poor offensively. And, we, and we've, we've been great offensively all year and it's just, it's sad to see that end. See, it's sad to see the season end like that for the seniors, for everybody that's put all this work in. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just really tough. For for both players, the result aside, what did you learn about the new head coach in the eight days that came in, uh, in the preparation and things along those lines? Go ahead. Man. Um, well, I mean, like I said, Coach Coach Dykes is a great offensive minded guy and he helped us out a lot during the during the bowl prep and I'm just you know I'm ready to kind of wipe the slate clean and get ready and and, and learn learn this learn his offense um this spring it's gonna be fun I thought he did a great job um helping us out you know he was a good listener he didn't he wasn't pushy he wasn't you know over the top with anybody he just he helped us out and was always was there for us these last couple of weeks and um I really appreciate him for it yeah um uh, SMU's using good hands with coach Dykes um, he's got good messages. Um, he sees things well as far as like energy and stuff and presents it to us. Um, I think SMU is, is going to be just fine with Coach Dykes. He's, he's done a great job of just communicating with us and just being there for us, like Ben said, staying in his lane and letting us do. But he's going to take he's going to take the hit for this loss because his title is head coach. But it's really on us players. I mean, that's players play coaches coach. We've been coached for 12, 13 weeks by a full staff. If you don't know what we're doing, then, you know, we just played bad. It's on us. It's not on him. So how much do you think kind of the turnover and all the distraction and noise surrounding you all in the last couple of weeks played into kind of coming out flat in this first half and coming out a little bit sloppy? Yeah, I think it had a little bit to do with it. This, with everybody's head kind of spinning and emotions flying, it was kind of hard to 
to lock in on what we were supposed to do. But I thought, you know, for the most part, the guys that needed to be locked in were locked in. But, you know, we just didn't get it done. We didn't prepare hard enough. We didn't play well enough. We didn't practice hard enough. You know, it was we just got outplayed by a lot. <laughs> ben, how did it go as far as you and G.J. Kenny calling the plays? I mean, it was it was fine. Like I said, we thought all the stuff that we were – like, you don't game plan for stuff not to work. So we came out and we're, we ran a lot of our base stuff that we thought would work against them. But, like, it comes back offensively. You cannot turn the ball over six times. I can't throw two pick sixes. It's just – I mean, once it got out of hand, it was hard to ever get it back. So uh, it, it looks bad on um, both GJ and I, but I think GJ did a great job. Um, this whole bowl prep of, of finding things that we could do. Um, I, I mean, I, like I said, I thought he called a great game. It's just it got out of hand. GJ's going to have a great future, whatever he does. He's a great man. Um, I really appreciate what he's done for me the last couple of weeks and um, sticking with me and, and even tonight just – you know, just just kept us going. So um, I hate just I hate to I hate for it to be his first coaching experience like that. And I go out there and, and play like I did. So um, I just hate that for him. So. Justin, how does this uh, this loss sort of impact how you will reflect on your career as an SMU player? Yeah, this is just a little, just a little hit to it. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it a big deal. Um, I'm gonna take it more of a learning experience, you know, to what I can do better. Obviously, um, when I continue playing, I won't return as a pony, but I'll always be a pony, you know. But just learn from it. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, just like I would any other game, you know. Um, but I take pride in what I've done here what I've gone through, and so one loss isn't going to change that. I take pride in being part of SMU, and uh, a losing like this one time isn't, isn't going to change that. Okay, one more question for our student athletes. What was kind of the message to you all at halftime from Coach Dykes and during the game? It's the same thing, you know, just one play at a time, trying to win plays. Um, you know, we were we we were down like that against Navy, and that's kind of what we did. Um, to get back in the game game against Navy was just stack good plays on good plays, and then defense gets a couple stops, and we stack some more good plays up. But it just it, it just didn't happen like that tonight. It's just, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, it's hard for him to say anything at halftime when you're getting your bus kicked like that. So um, the only message was just to just to win plays and not quit playing because it really looks bad if you stop playing. So. Yeah. Good job, Good job,